Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relation Guru, Sin Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman in these relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything that you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, get my brand new girls night card game is officially out my girls night card game if you plan on having a girls night or a game night with your home girls y'all need something to do they get my girls night card game it has a whole bunch of great questions on this scenarios about love and relationships sex all that so it's really good go get that okay and then on this hands we have my brand new ebook which is titled, Oh, He's Toxic, period. So make sure you go get that as well because that's fire and it's everything you need to know about a man that's in that book. So if you want to learn about a man and how to never get played, use and manipulated by a man ever again, then go get that book right there. Link is in the description as well. All right? All right. So that's out the way. Now we're going to jump right into this video. And this video is titled, Women Should Always Have Money Stashed Away Just In Case. Right? So a woman should have her own money stashed away and stacked up just in case anything happens when she's in a relationship or dealing with a man, right? Because, and the reason why I say that is because there are so many women in this world that claim that they want a man to pay all the bills, right? You want a man to take care of you. You want a man to provide. You want a man to pay all the bills in the house or a majority of the bills in the house. And you want him to, you know, basically provide for you and all, everything like that, right? But what, it, what comes with that also is sometimes when that man is paying all the bills and things are not going his way or you're not seeing eye to eye or maybe, you know, y'all got into it or something like that. You got to understand a lot of times, yeah, it's our house when things are good and we're happy and stuff. But then when soon as things start going bad and start going sour, start going south, then all of a sudden our house becomes my house. And the man starts saying, oh, this is my house. Yeah, I'm paying all the bills. So that means that you got to get out or you got to leave or you got to do this or you got to go because this is my house. I'm paying all the bills. You cannot be here. This is my house. I don't want you here. I don't want you by me. Bye. And his name may be on the lease or his, may, his name may be on the mortgage. His name may be on whatever. You know what I'm saying? And he may have, you know, that leverage when it comes to, oh, okay, you know, I'm paying all the bills. I'm paying the car notes. I'm paying this. I'm paying that. Our things become my things after a while, you know, sometimes when that man feels like, oh, I'm paying all the bills, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, you want to act up, you can go, and I can have somebody else in here, you know? So, as a woman, just in case something like that happens, when that man starts feeling like, you know, a little cocky, and he starts feeling like, oh, this is my house, and I'm paying all the bills, and you not paying nothing, or you paying a little bit, but it don't compare to what I'm paying, and this is my house, and blah, 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 my, 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 me, 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 and he kick you out on the curb somewhere, now it's like, you as a woman, you always have to protect yourself. You always have to make sure that you are okay and you are always good because you never know what can happen when you're dealing with the man. Everything may seem like it's good now. Y'all may be in love, hugging and kissing. I love you so much. Baby, you do the best thing that ever happened to me. Y'all can be in that stage, right? But you know what? Sometimes things happen and he may or may not, you know, get mad one day at you or y'all might get into it. Or maybe one day, you know, people wake up with different feelings every day. He might make up, wake up one day and be like, you know what? I don't want to be here no more. I don't want you around me no more. I don't want this anymore. I don't want to be with you anymore. But you know what? I'm paying all the bills. This is my house. I don't want to leave, but I want you to leave. So, I look, I want this new girl to come in. I don't want you no more. Bye. Or maybe I just want my own space. You know, I just want to live by myself again. This is my house. I've been paying all the bills. Bye. You know? So in any in any event like that, as a woman, you need to know that, okay, I need to take care of myself just in case this man start tripping. Just in case this man start acting up. Just in case this man starts 
feeling like, oh, just because he's providing for me, that means that he can take everything away from me. Because he feels like, oh, well, I, it's a privilege for me to be giving this woman everything and to be, you know, taking care of her. But the second she make me mad, I'm going to strip her of everything. And you just got to make sure there's nothing wrong with wanting a man to provide for you, right? I'm not going to never take that away from any woman. It's okay to want a man to provide for you, to pay all the bills, to pay majority of the bills, all that, right? A man should do that. But in any given event that that man feels like, oh, well, this is my house. This is where, you know what? No, you can go. You can leave. You got to make sure you take care of you. You got to make sure that you are okay and that you are secure just in case this man start tripping and he put you out. Because he put you out on the curb. It's like, what are you going to do as a woman? You know, if you just out there on the curb somewhere, wh who are you going to go to? Who are you going to run to? Who? How are you going to eat? How are you going to take care of yourself? What are you going to do if he paying for everything? You always got to have a backup, backup plan just in case. So in the midst of you, you know, maybe let's just say you as a woman, let's just say that he pay all the bills and he pay majority of the bills. That means that you get to keep a portion of your money that you would be spending if y'all were going like 50-50 or maybe if you were paying, you know, all the bills yourself by yourself or whatever, but now that you got him paying for majority of the bills or, or, or all the bills, now it's like, okay, now I can stash some money away, you know, and so, so don't always, you know, just be splurging your money just because you got extra money. You know, as a woman, you need to stash some of that money away on a rainy day or just in case he start tripping hey you think like okay this man start tripping guess what if he ever kick me out I got money stashed away. I can go get me, get me a hotel real quick. I can go get me an apartment real quick. You know, I don't got to be on the street. I'm good. I can go live wherever I need to go. Lay my head at. You know, I could be in an Airbnb. It don't matter. You know, I got a place where I can lay my head at the end of the day. I got money to do so, right? So you just got to make sure that you're good. You know, if he paying all, and if he paying all the bills or if he paying like, you know, the, the car note and stuff like that, and he trying to take the car away from you and stuff, always make sure you got enough money stashed away where you can still get around transportation and maybe you need to uber maybe you might need to you know catch the bus here and there be, be, until you can get your own car or in your name or maybe you know whatever you know stuff like that you know you just need to make sure that you are good by yourself or maybe have enough money stashed away to where you can buy your own car you know so or or, or whatever you know what i'm saying if he is paying all the all the all the bills like the car note and stuff like that all i'm saying is that overall if that man is paying for a lot of things that he feels like oh i'm paying for the things i'm entitled to whatever comes with these things so that means that if you are benefiting as a woman off of my things that i'm giving you then that means that i can take these things away from you because i'm the breadwinner i am the name holder in this account or on this house on this lease on this you know mortgage or whatever you know what i'm saying so i got the name on it so you know i control everything that happens in this so if i want to kick you out if i want to leave you i can leave you so you always have to be prepared. So make sure that you stash your money away. Make sure that, you know, as you're able to save some money and you're not spending as much money on the bills and stuff, save some of that money. Stash some of that money away just in case you get the trip in. So just stack your money up. And it's anytime you're in a relationship. Always, always, always have your own money. As a woman, you, yes, you may want that man to do for you, but you should always be able to do for yourself as a woman in case that man does not want to do for you or can't do for you right? You always got to take care of yourself. At the end of the day, that man may or may not be able to take care of you, or maybe he don't want to take care of you no more, and you got to fiend for yourself. So make sure that you cover your own butt so that just in case he gets the tripping or whatever, you can, you still can be able to survive. So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, make sure that you're getting your money, you stashing your money away, keep that money stashed away from him in a separate account, Stack that up just in case. I'm just saying, just in case. You never know. And make sure you get my girls' night card game. You know, link is in the description. Make sure you get my brand new ebook. Link is in the description as well. And I'm out of here. So, to the next video.